And so I put down the Quran when I had finished it. And much to my dismay, I was honestly disappointed because I thought I'm just, the author made a brilliant, 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 brilliant try. But he never quite made it. <clears throat> and so I was sitting in front of, about three, four weeks later, I was sitting in Diamond Heights in my apartment watching a football game, I think it was. And you know, sometimes just things just slip into your minds when you least expect them. And I'm sitting there watching it, and all of a sudden into my mind came a thought. And I said, wait a minute. The Quran does tell us so much about God. It tells us again and again and again, but somehow I just missed it. Just skimmed over it every single time. Because if you turn to almost any page, if you turn to the beginning of any Sura, you could see time and time again essential information about God that I just thought was sort of a literary device, something to make it just sound more beautiful. Because if you turn to the beginning of any surah, you'll see the words Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate. If you read almost any passage, long passage, when you come to the end of it, it's punctuated by dual attributive statements like God is the merciful, the compassionate. God is the forgiving, the gentle. God is the kind, the protector. God is the generous, the truthful. God is, and so forth and so on. There are tens of thousands of such references in the statements in the Quran.